So we're bottle digging here in central Wisconsin, starting in our new hole. Just found this incredible soda water with these stars on here, Rhinelander. And it appears I might have another one. Come on, baby. Be whole. It's all not even a chip, I don't think. Oh my gosh. Matching Rhinelander soda bottles. Let's freaking go. We find things, baby. Badger exploration. Let's go. I came from the mud. Oh, I do. Oh. oh. This is a first for me. This is awesome. Welcome back, Badgers, to another episode of Badger Exploration. Today we are back at the legendary dump site. I'm here with my new buddy Tim from the Pike River Prospects. Tim, how's it going? He's been ball digging. What? Since you were a young lad? Oh, yeah. Yep. Since I was probably eight years old. Oh, been so. Digging. That's exciting, guys. <laughs> He's got a lot of experience today, and we're hoping to benefit from that wealth of knowledge. Starting off, we're going right at the spot where you saw me and Joker Magnet dig almost a year ago to the date. But uh, we're going to see what we can find, and we'll show you guys the first find. What did yeah. you find, Tim? Yep, yeah, I've got some old thermostat from a car. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Sure. What did you got there? Oh, wow. That is a cool one, dude. What? Look at that. I've never found anything that nicely involved. Look at that. Double A, huh? What do you think yeah. that's for? Must have been some type of a, an alcoholic beverage. I'm thinking. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a neat one. That's really nice. Yeah. How long have we been here? <laughs> 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yeah, that's what I like to see. <laughs> Alright guys, so we have got a cool old metal cone top, but right here we have a oh wow. It's an interesting bottle. Not too old, but 70s or so. Old tuna can. <laughs> oh nice little ponds. Milk milk glass, yep. Very Some cool. Ponds on the bottom. Very nice. Oh wow, that's a weird shape. Yeah. I've not found one shaped like uh we call that like a football almost. That's oh, cool. Yeah. I found a lot of round and square ones. Nice. Yeah. Uh, oh, shotgun shell. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Ooh, how's that? Hey, an old uh, cooking grate. That's fun. Oh, a full little jar. You are a nice little, probably olive jar or something. Oh, yeah. Fun. Look at this, guys. Old leather shoe. <laughs> All right, guys. We just found our first full bottle. Looks like, oh, there's a crack in the back, but it looks like what, maple syrup probably? Yep, that's an old maple syrup. Right on, right on. Yep. Hey, here we go. We got a kind of unique bottle that's whole. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, and it's cracked. That's too bad. <laughs> I love the small bottles. Oh, yeah. They're my favorite. Well, it ain't a, ain't a lakeside vacation dump spot if you don't find at least 100 of these. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to know what I mean? Check out the last time we were here at the dig spot and I caught, or found, I mean, countless ones of those. I think it was like a... What is that? I it was like a perfume or something. Like, Whoa. With a real little... Or, yeah, it looks like it's a perfume top. Yeah, with a yeah, real small... Like the spritzer kind of, yep. you know. Uh. Ooh, that's some thick stuff yet. That is. There you go, you got your Mother's Day gift ready. Don't smell real good. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's finding cool bottles. Maybe I found a first. Oh, yay. Kind of older, not a screw top. It's a, it's a uh, probably 60s, what, soda? Something like that. Yeah, I think so. No return. <laughs> there <we go>. Nice. <laughs> that. A little fun jar. <laughs> oh, wow. There's foaming in there. probably perfume in there yet. That's cool. You know, I found a, quite a few perfume bottles here. I told oh, you that. Bottle. 
I can't. That's, that's what they call them using a toilet water. Toilet water yeah. when it's in there? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Toilet, <laughs> toilet water. water. That was a, a cold perfume. <laughs> toilet water. <laughs> <sighs> that's funny. I'm learning a lot today. That's awesome. Yeah. Ooh, I love these springs, these old bed springs. Oh, this is funky. What's that? Is that an old flashlight? Yep. Oh, that's funky. <laughs> it's in pretty good shape, yeah, just missing the top. Neat little bottle there. Yep. <laughs> Dang. Moving some of this stuff. I got some stuff poking through here. Oh, this is cool. Oh, stuff right in there. Yeah. That's a ketchup bottle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and more ketchup bottles. <laughs> we have something right here. Got a couple of them. Okay, cool. So the little soda bottle here, one of those. Ooh, this bottle's a little bit different. Please be intact. It is. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Ribbed bottom. Never found one like that. Weird. Screw top. Cool. It says B1135. <laughs> Bunch of numbers. <laughs> All right. Now let's see, guys. What's this one right here going to be? Oh, man. I feel like I'm living my childhood dream right now. <laughs> Digging in the mud, man. Finding treasure. Oh. Ooh. Big square uh, perfume bottle yep. with some toilet water. Yep. <laughs> just dug this up. Weird little, another flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> I just got a little measuring thing. <laughs> another awesome old uh, flashlight. Oh, these are cool. Wow, okay. There's water yeah, in it. <laughs> part, of, part of a tape measure, eh? Yeah, it looks, like, tape measure or a ruler, I don't know. A ruler. Maybe oh, it's like yeah. the kind that extend. Yep. yep. Nice, very cool. <laughs> Never know what you're gonna find at the bottle dump. Got some here. Oh, just another olive jar. Might be too careful with that. Oh, and it's broken. That was cut right, right over to the left where you were. Yeah. All right, we got another one of these cool bottles. Right on. Hmm. Oh, cool. Corner of an old stove. I love the feet yep. to old stoves. Oh, dang. Oh, that would have been cool. cool nice. So right, right next to me, as I was probably digging up, I didn't even notice it. Or did you dig this up? No, nope, you did. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice it. <laughs> there you go. Another one added to the collection. Nope. <laughs> All right, so we're up here where the dump started. And what's the theory we're going with? Checking all these sinkholes with a probe rod. And you probe down in these holes, see if you can feel any garbage, any glass, and tin. Very nice. That's just a metal rod, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Now, I wonder if right there, but it, like you said, it always end, start over here. So I wonder if, you know, cause we have these three here. Yeah. There's this one, which may be worth looking at too, but I wonder almost if maybe under this brush pile. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Look how deep you're going. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was garbage in that one. All right, we start here. Let's try to loosen this up off the hard pack on top. Oh, that's cool cigarette tin. So that's gone too far gone. Oh shoot, almost a whole bottle, old beer bottle. Hmm. All right, might have our first bottle out here. Oh, cool, first whole bottle, little glass bottle. I think this is the uh, used for like oil. All right, guys, we have a bottle. Oh, and it looks cool. Oh, it looks real cool. 
please be intact. Oh, please be full all the way though. Holy. No, it's not, it's broken. Oh, that sucks. That would have been one of the cooler bottles that I'd, I'd personally have found. I mean, it's, it's still a newer bottle, it's a screw top, so I don't feel terrible, but. Ah, oh, shucks. Oh, it's square. Please be full. Please be, ah, it is, it is, oh my gosh. Ah, yes, oh man. There's like this bubbling on it and there is letters. Hmm. What do we say? Federal law, do not distribute this bottle or reuse or whatever, that thing, but still cool. And there is ugh, goo inside, toilet water, right? <laughs> awesome guys, I love square bottles, sweet. Alrighty, we got broken ketchup bottle, broken oil bottle, and that's cool, a little can with a little bit of it on there. Not sure what that says, huh? All righty. Hey, big old bottle. Newer though, but still. Looks like we got another one of those. Some roots growing in it. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I got an idea. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, the dad jokes are rife. What in the heck of a roo is this little red dowel thing? A red wheel or reel, maybe for like fishing line or something? Oh, fishing line. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Let's see if they like the shovel POV. <laughs> Probably like, this is making me sick. You might have found another light bulb. <laughs> Yes, I did. Ooh. Another one of these bottles. You think this is for oil or something? That's what I've been thinking, but I don't know. I find a bunch of these at this location, so I'm not sure. There's an old cone top just popped out. Too bad these aren't in <laughs> better shape. I'm digging. Just got this awesome little perfume bottle. But just wait, there's more. <laughs> Kids wow, on. this jar did not want to come out. Full jar. Yeah. Nothing too special though. Oh, prison bottle school though. Whiskey drinking woman. <laughs> little whiskey. <laughs> wow, nice. Oh, you found a little truck? Yeah. Oh man, look at this. Do you mind if I borrowed your flatter shovel just for a second? No, go ahead. Thank you so much. Yep. <laughs> just to get this stuff scooped out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely am uh, learning a lot today from Mr. Tim here. <laughs> Seasoned expert, been out for years. Ooh, there's a bottle. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get all this bread. <laughs> that makes perfect sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we have bottles. All right, not a bad one. Oh, more of this one. Gotta get through the new ones to get to the old ones, so. Good sign, I guess. I guess. I'm thinking, I'm hoping. <laughs> All right. Working it up in here. Just, ooh. Ooh, weirdo. What a weirdo. <laughs> Look at that. What kind of bottle do you think that is there, lads? My goodness. It says P on the bottom. Food bottle. 875 old food bottle, you think? Like a jam or a preserve or something, maybe? Preserve, yeah. Oh, wow, that's pretty funky. What do we have? Oh, wow, one of these with what looks like some oil in it. Uh, this is, I think this must be why I thought they were oil jugs, because I must have found one with something like this inside. Yeah. What do we got here? Weird. That's what I was thought, but it looks yeah, closed on the top. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. like a Maybe perfume or something. Could be an extract, maybe? Maybe. Yeah. Very neat. Tim just pulled out, uh, it's a bit broken, but a knee high. What, what was this, a soda? Soda, yep. Wow, that's cool. I've never heard of that. Yep. Oh, a little piece of milk glass. 
getting down here. We gotta find some more bones and chunks of glass. Bottles are piling up. Nothing crazy crazy yet, but I have a feeling there's something good down here for us. <laughs> but I'm gonna take a quick breather. It's like Tim's got one bleeding out the side. <laughs> Look at him, just no care in the world. <laughs> Granted, he knows what kind of bottle it is, so. <laughs> I'm like eight of these today. Mm. Yeah. You know, what do you reckon bottle. that is? It's gotta be some type of maybe like a um what the heck would up syrup, some type of syrup bottle. Mm. I'm thinking. Okay. Like maybe a syrup for mixing drinks or something. All right, all right, Badgers. We got us a bunch of bottles hanging out the side here. Catch a bottle one. <laughs> oh, now. Oh, another one of those bottles. Let's see here. It's this guy. A little bit bigger. Oh, that one broke. Mm, just a regular old jar ski. And let's see what this one's gonna be. Oh, oh it's in there. I feel other bottles down there. I gotta be careful. That's a... all right. And a ketchup bottle. Just found this little guy. Oh, some pink pep de bismo. That is a cool little triangle bottle. He actually found one of these earlier. Mine looks a little more pink though. Yeah. Here in the pit. Found us another bottle. This one looks to be square. Oh boy. I love me some square bottles. It looks to be in full shape, guys. Oh, it's not square. It's another one of these bottles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I found earlier. Nice. Oh, man, another one. Oh, screw top, though, huh? Yeah. Nice. Oh, and you found a, yeah, a little, little jar? Yeah. Nice. Right, we got this jar or bottle in the wall here. It is not a ketchup bottle. And it does not appear to be. <laughs> oh, wrong. It's one of them. That might be. Oh, it's got some nice paint on it. It does. Wow. Cool. Soak that in some, uh, some, what do you call it? The uh, rust, uh, rust away or whatever that acid solution might actually get all that crud off. Huh. Set that one aside. Nice. Schlitz. Gives you the shits. Yeah. If you don't know, if you're familiar with Schlitz, it is a beer that recently came back in 2019. But before then, it was pretty pretty uh, average beer. Yeah. And that was kind of the saying that I was told from my grandfather and my parents that Schlitz, it gives you the shits. Catch a bottle over. <laughs> Tim's got to catch a bottle. <laughs> and I got one as well. Heck yeah, this is, this is awesome. So way down there, Tim's finding still tons of cool jars. Unfortunately, this one's broke, oh, but. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a cool little blue Vicks jar. I've never found a blue full jar intact, so maybe today's the day, gang. A little chip out of it, but that's All right. when they threw it out. Probably. That's, that's a cool piece. That is a really cool piece. Yeah. And this is also, guys, my first ever piece of geranium glass. And check it out. What? <laughs> Look at that, guys. Ah, oh, a little bit of a chip out of it, but I mean, I'm keeping that. Like he said, it's, you know, Tim's probably right. That's why they threw it out, I'm sure, but oh. Yeah. And there's a little spoon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's it say? It's got some writing on it. Yeah, cool find. And oh, no way. A silver spoon. Fairfield silver plated. Holy okay. cow, guys! No way. Real life treasure. Let's go, guys! I just found silver and uranium glass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that would be a nice little piece of it was. Oh gosh, and the that... painted would be uh, nice on it. Oh, 
Oh, you have me so excited. That would be cool. Okay. They are nice. That's just all up here. And painted ones display so nice. Yeah. The paint shows up on them sitting. Yeah. <laughs> I only have one that's painted that has the paint still on it. Oh, yeah. She is. Oh, the hand, the, the thing's on it still. The, yeah. the mouth and the little. Good. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, hopefully, if the dad's ripped it. Oh, in. that'd be awesome. Paint right. the label down. Freaking hey. <laughs> it's all these roots. It's such a big bottle. It is. And it's like, oh, yeah. oh, you don't yeah. want to pull it up and have. That could be a Hylex tool. That's true. Hylex or look, uh, Dad's Rip there, a big one. Oh, it'd be nice if it was a Dad's. So the key is I don't want to get roots stuck in that little loop yeah. when I pull it out because that's how I lost my other one. <laughs> <laughs> and not again. Mm. Oh, look at that top. That is old. I have not found a bottle of this style. I'm really hoping I can get this guy out. Oh! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> one gallon. I like Oh, Hylax. Uh, what's on the bottom? Dunlops. Oh well. Huh. Still though. Well. It's whole. Yep. It's still whole and it's cool. Yep. Huh. Uh. I'm keeping it, I guess. <laughs> Put all that work in there. <laughs> Got her now. <laughs> Woo. Still cool though, guys. Still yep. cool. Yep. Wow. Still the first one this size I ever found. That was a big one. Oh man. Oh. Yeah, this little guy. Salt yeah. shaker, I think. Yeah. Nice. And another one. Another one. Oh. Salt and pepper shaker right next to each other. That's <laughs> cool. We're in here now. Probably what would you say? Five feet? Yeah. About that. We got us another bottle. With a cork and a drink still in. Heck, and I know the price. 30 cents. Oh my gosh. Look at that old sticker with Wisconsin. <laughs> Wow, that is nuts. Well, dang almighty. This guy just chilling in the wall here. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, big old jar. Right in the side here, we got this little tiny perfume bottle. Ooh, I love these tiny bottles. Eek. Now I remember why I started, now I remember why I started sifting through the giant piles I always oh. would make here. A little brass <laughs> buckle right here. Oh yeah. That's cool. This hole is getting impressive. <laughs> I mean, with some time here and a little bit of lighting, we could probably live here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the badger just found this little awesome little square jar here. I'm not sure if this is for probably makeup or something. I don't know. It's pretty cool. And as you can see in the shovel cam here, we've had a nice little layer of, here's to be some fire. Some yeah. ash from someone's fire pit. Finally, oh. finally, an old soda bottle. And down there, about another six inches deeper through that gunk is a bunch of other glass. Oh, and there's embossing on it. What does it say? Well, yeah, of course it's watery. Beverages. Las Lacelli. Oh, Lacelli beverages. Okay. Right on. That's awesome. I absolutely love oh. embossed glass. Right on. Here, let's check it out. See what that says? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, it's from Marinette. Yep, yeah, Marinette. All right on. Cool. Well, that's one of the older ones we found today. Yeah, that's a, that's a local one. Heck yeah. Nice, nice soda soda. Cool. I absolutely love collecting the local sodas. Oh, I do too. My goal is to get one with every state or every uh, city of Wisconsin on it. All right, we are, just found this thing. Oh, nice. Little tiny pie to dish. <laughs> it's actually in pretty dang good shape. All right, I might have found the most color on a can I've ever found ever. It appears to be... I think, yeah, baking something. It's got a Native American yeah. a warrior chief head on it. Yeah, or baking All right, what do we have here, guys? <gasps> yes! Yeah! 
<laughs> a tiny brown bottle. <laughs> it's a screw top, but I don't care. I love me some tiny bottles, especially when they're colored. Oh, it's a Lysol in Voss. Never mind. Extra cool. Little one. Huh? All right, Badgers, that is going to about do it. We dug us a nice five, six foot hole here. I'm going to go ahead and sift through this all and make sure this all gets filled in and put away. Special thanks to Tim for coming out today and thank you all for joining in and watching this episode of Badger Exploration. If you guys are liking these bottle digging videos, I really am enjoying it. I'm enjoying unearthing real history and seeing how people lived and where they lived and what they did. It's really incredible. Just these, these old embossed bottles from all different parts of the, the state and the country. And comment down below what your favorite find was in today's video. That being said, guys, this is Badger Exploration. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. Catch me howling at the moon